Hello and welcome back. In this video, I'm going to talk to you about uh, double consonants in spelling. This is to make sure that if you're talking about going swimming and you want to write about it, that you write that you're going swimming, not that you're going swiming. Let me explain it all to you. What this means is if you have a short vowel sound, and if you're not sure what a short vowel sound is, have a look at the video I've done which explains that. You usually have to double the consonant when adding a suffix. And remember that a suffix is um, a group of letters that goes at the end of a word. And again, look at my other videos on suffixes. Just to give you an example, it's things if I might add, for example, an ED or an ING or I might add an ER. So let's have a look and get straight into it. Right, well, I was in school the other day and uh, my friend said to me that he had a big house. Well, I said to him, well, yeah, you might have a big house, but my house is even bigger than yours. So I just wrote ER on the end, because I know that's what I'm supposed to do. But unfortunately, I haven't written that I've got a bigger house. I've written that I've got a bigger house because if you remember about the short and long vowel sounds, that says big because it's the short sound, I. Once I put this vowel here and I've got the split vowel digraph, it changes that from an I to an I. So I haven't got a biger house. So let's start that again. Let's make sure we get it right. So I've got a big house. To make it bigger, I need to double the consonant. I need to write that G again and write the suffix there, bigger. Maybe I've even got the big-ist house. Well, I don't just add E-S-T for the same reason as here. I need to double the consonant and write biggest. Now, lots of children like to swim. And it's the same. Notice that this is swim with a short I sound. It doesn't say swine. So if I just add ing, I'm going to be swiming. I need to double the consonant before adding the suffix on the end. So let me just underline these double consonants. There we go. And there are lots and lots of these. And I need to be really, really careful because... Here, I'm going to hop. Now, if I just write ing on the end, because I'm hopping around uh, in my back garden, if I just write ing on the end, I am no longer hopping, I'm hoping, because this vowel here joins together with that vowel to make it a long sound. So I don't want to be hoping I want to be hopping, I need to double that vowel and uh, constant, I mean, sorry, and then add the ing hopping. Lots and lots of examples of this in the beginning. So, begin, it's an i sound, I need to double that consonant and add my I, N, G. And there are those double consonants. So always be careful, think about what you're doing, think about what the sound is uh, here, whether that's going to be a short vowel sound, like begin, I, then I need to double the consonant. If I don't want to, if it's a long vowel sound, then I don't need to double the consonant. So for example, if I have got like, well, this has already got an E in the end of it. Okay. So that's making that an I sound. And if I want to make that liking, then I need to get rid of that E. And then I can just add my ING on the end of it to give me liking. I am liking taste of this ice cream very much. Double consonants in spelling. Be careful. Be careful what you're doing. Think about is it a long vowel sound or a short vowel sound. 
And as long as you get that, you will be absolutely fine. So there you go.